Hi guys, welcome to my brand new apartment. I can't believe I'm saying this. I can't believe I live here now. This is a two bedroom apartment and it's all thanks to you guys. If you don't know me, my name's Tammy. I also go by Uncomfy cause your girl's a little anxious. And for the past year, I've been running my small business in my one bedroom apartment. It was 600 square feet and I loved it so much. But I knew this year, especially as my goals change and as my business grows and my community grows, I knew deep down that I needed more space. So now we're here and a two bedroom apartment and I want to give you guys a little tour. So let's start off here in this little entryway. There's really nothing here yet. We literally just moved in three days ago so you'll notice that there's a lot of empty space. I still want to put up a ton of picture frames, shelves. I want to put some lanterns in, add more plants. I finally have room for more plants so this is very much a work in progress. That was a long spiel for such a blank hallway. But yeah, as soon as you walk through this little entryway, this is the master bedroom, and then this is the living room. This is definitely the heart of our apartment, but before we get here, let's start off with the bedroom. All right, so welcome to the master bedroom. This is very similar vibes to my old bedroom, but it's a lot bigger. On this very far wall here is gonna be Mr. Uncomfy's entire setup. He loves gaming. You might recognize this chair, and it's because this was my very first office chair, but I gave it to Mr. Uncomfy. It's so sunny in here. <laughs> my favorite part about this whole entire apartment is absolutely these oversized windows. My requirements for moving at all is that if I moved, I needed to have just as good lighting as my old apartment did. And of course, this does the trick. I also love how these beams make it look very industrial, very like art warehousey. I wanted the bedroom to feel like a little sanctuary. So of course, the bed is super, super important in a bedroom. And this whole entire bed, like the sheets, the blankets, the duvet covers, everything on this bed is from Brooklinen. So thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video. When we decided to move, I knew this was the perfect opportunity to just refit my whole entire sleeping situation, not just for sleep and for comfort, but to make a home that I'm really, really proud of. And Brooklinen was amazing for that because instead of having to buy every individual item, they offer hardcore bundles. The bundles include four pillowcases, the core bed sheets, and a duvet cover. So you get all of these incredibly high quality items in one bundle and it saves you time, energy, and money. So I got the Lux Satin Bundle. I got it because it was super soft and smooth and it gets softer each time you wash it, which I just thought was amazing. You can also mix and match colors and textures to fit your style, but I just got everything in French moss because I was envisioning everything to be very cohesive with an accent piece. And this is the accent piece that I chose. This is their 100% lamb's wool blanket. This is the softest blanket I've ever owned in my life and it's so warm but so lightweight. So I took this with me on my cabin trip and yeah, it's just been so nice to move into a new place with a piece I already have so many good memories with. I got this set in particular because it's super lightweight and breathable, which was really important for me. I need something to keep me warm and cozy at night, but not wake up all sweaty and hot. And yeah, I've really just had like the most comfortable sleep ever with these sheets. I need sleep to be productive, to be sane, and most importantly, to be happy. I'm just so grateful for these sheets. So if you wanna try out Brooklinen, you can scan this QR code here or click the link below to get 15% off of your first Brooklinen order and save extra when you bundle. The last thing I'll say about this bedroom is that I really want to put up shelves here in the middle for a lot more plants and a lot more books and maybe twinkly lights because I just I just love twinkly lights. I don't care what that says about me. This is a beautiful plant that we got from New York City. I fell in love with this plant store called Easy Plant because this is actually a water reservoir and you just fill it up with water once a month and it takes care of itself and it's so beautiful. Of course, Moomin. Over here we have a little homage to my graphic design days. Over the past couple years I've just been working so hard on decorating my studio that I completely neglected our last bedroom and now I don't really know how to decorate a bedroom. So if you guys have any idea just comment down below. And here we have the master bedroom. Squeaky door. I gotta get that greased. Double vanity sink. Huge walk-in closet. I joke around with Mr. Uncomfy that this is my podcasting room because I do all my voiceovers in a closet. This is the beautiful walk-in shower and I'm super excited about this. We have a linen closet for the first time in my life, but I'm not using it for linens. I'm using it for skincare and makeup. This is pretty much the bathroom. I love how spacious it is. I love the white countertops. And yeah, let's move on to the rest of the apartment. 
When we were touring at different apartments, the kitchen was very, very important to me because I want to start cooking more and I want to start making more Vietnamese food, more Vietnamese desserts and such. And that just wasn't something that I had any desire to do at my old apartment. My old apartment, the kitchen was so dark, all black cabinet. The window was so far away, but here the window is right here. In the mornings, the light just shines through like all the way down here and it's so beautiful. It makes me even more of a morning person than I already am. I also love these wooden cabinets instead of the black laminate. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm very much a light color scheme gal. I love quartz, I love birch and maple. I don't really gravitate towards dark color schemes. So this kitchen is just perfect for me. I feel like my old apartment was always so cluttered and crowded. So now I'm trying to keep everything super clean and empty, but still have some personal touches. So I'm trying to get into the habit of always keeping some fresh flowers around. Whenever we go grocery shopping, like to King Supers or Trader Joe's, we always just grab a fresh bouquet. It's just one of those things where it's not necessary, but it makes me really happy. Here, I also keep my speaker. I love this girl so much. She's so cute. We got her from the MoMA design store. It's Bluetooth and it's also radio. And I love the little retro vintage look. The quality is okay. It's, it's not the most amazing speaker. <laughs> Moving on from the kitchen island, here is our fridge. Nothing special, but I like to keep little mementos here. This magnet is from Vietnam. I got it when I was like seven years old and I'm actually really proud of myself for not losing it. It's hand sculpted and hand painted. And yeah, maybe this was a sign all along that I'd be making handmade art for a living. If you wanna follow me over here, this is gonna be our little coffee station. I'm so excited to get like a little Nespresso pod organizer. There's a ton on Amazon, but I just haven't seen any that are like super special quite yet. We might just settle for the one that everyone has, which I wouldn't be mad about. Oh, if you guys haven't tried these yet, these apple cider donuts from Trader Joe's are just so good. In this corner here is gonna be our little pottery station. Yeah, this corner is not set up at all yet. Ceramics is one of the hobbies that I really just put on the back burner because I thought I could do polymer clay and ceramics at the same time. And unfortunately, that's just not the case. But I'm still really passionate about it. It's truly one of those really difficult, time-consuming and money-consuming hobbies, but it's very, very gratifying because of that and Mr. Uncomfy is actually so talented at throwing on the wheel so that might be one of our couples projects in the future. The kitchen itself is pretty much all set up. I just have to get some bar stools because I find myself really wanting it to sit here in the mornings and when I have friends over I really want to like host them you know like I want to be making the little charcuterie board for them and they can sit here and here. Over here is our little dining table. This table is actually really special to me because this was the first piece of furniture that I bought for my small business. It was when I was living at my parents house so my studio was really their guest room. I think this table was only like a hundred dollars but it served me really well. I've packed thousands of orders on this very table and now it's our dining table. This bonsai is something that I'm also very proud of. This was my mom's bonsai that she so kindly gave to me after she moved and somehow it's still alive so fingers crossed. Even though these chairs don't quite match this table, I kind of enjoy mixing and matching different woods. And I think it works because they're both warm toned. And these chairs are actually from my parents' restaurant. They opened a pho restaurant at the end of 2019. Then of course COVID happened. So unfortunately they had to close the restaurant down. But for six months, my mom got to live out her dream of owning a pho restaurant and I was a waitress. And it was really stressful at the time, you know, like working with family. But I think my whole family learned a lot of lessons during that time and I look back on it pretty fondly now. In this corner here, something that I splurged on, it's an air purifier. Especially with clay, it's important to keep the air clean. And I also live in the city, so whenever you open a window, it's, it's not really fresh air that's coming in. So it's nice to have this air purifier now, and it's not like an eyesore. I think she's actually really cute. And now let's get to the actual living room. Sorry, my tripod is in the way. This is the same couch from my last place. I love this couch so much. She's so comfortable, and she is just my ideal couch. Little Ikea coffee table and yeah here is just a lot of empty space i definitely want to put up a shelf here and just fill it with a ton of plants i'm dabbling with the idea of putting like a giant lantern here there is an outlet here so we can just run the wire up and then just have the lantern hanging in the middle i think that'd be really cute of course i have to have the maxine plushie on display she's honestly such a good thing to hold while i'm watching my tv and just winding down because this apartment is so much bigger than our old one we have a lot of floor posts 
pillows and cushions and dog beds everywhere. I want Winnie to be as comfortable as possible. And I think it's helping her adjust to the new place. So now that we've covered the living space, we can finally go behind these two doors. So on this door is the second bathroom, which I actually like better than the master bathroom. And I'll show you why. So this is the second bathroom and obviously it's very empty still. But the reason why I love this bathroom so much is because it has a huge bathtub. Like if I lay down, my whole body is submerged in the water. This is my first time having a soaking tub and I'm so, so excited because I got these bath teas. My friends at Enoki Bathhouse sent me their Nordic Lagoon bath tea like months ago and I was never able to try them out because I didn't have a bathtub, but I didn't have the heart to tell them. I just knew eventually the next place I move, I'll have a bathtub and I feel like I manifested that for myself. We also moved our outside furniture into here and it's kind of nice because Winnie can lounge here while I'm taking a bath. So that was the bathroom and the last part of this tour is gonna be my studio. All right, so this is my studio so far. This is technically the second bedroom in the apartment. You may notice that she looks quite bland and it's because she is. This is the last place that I still need to really set up and organize and I think I'm getting like performance anxiety because I love decorating but for some reason I just really want this place to be perfect so I think the next couple of videos will be a bedroom makeover and a studio makeover but I'll just show you guys what I have so far of course I love these huge windows I always like to put my desk in front of the windows because it's the best lighting for sculpting and it's also the best lighting for filming so if I were to be filming I could just put my camera here now I have direct sunlight on my face which is pretty important for what I do. This is just a big sliding closet, which I'm not going to show you because it's just filled with a ton of supplies that I have not organized yet. But I'm actually really excited to show you guys. This is a new piece of furniture that I got. So far, I'm using it to store my makeup and my perfume, but it also folds up like this. And it's called a secretary desk, and I think it's so cute. This desk is also so nice because it's like an extra work surface. So my studio assistant can sit here and I can sit here while we work. I think up here, I'm going to put like a big shot here for more plants, more posters, more art. I also desperately need to liven this space up a bit. So we're thinking of putting hanging plants up there and then art here. Since they're doors and it's not drywall, I can't really hang picture frames there. The other option, of course, is like posters, just taping them up there. But yeah, comment down below your suggestions. Here's just my little shelf that I've been using for the past two years. And I have another one on this side. When we first moved in, I was really struggling with the placement of these shelves. I think I think I kind of enjoy the symmetry, but of course everything is subject to change. And then here I actually got a brand new oven. I've been wanting to get a clay oven for so long and now I finally have enough space for it. So this is a Black & Decker oven. One of my artist friends also uses an oven from the same brand. It's just a normal toaster convection oven, but Black & Decker has really good circulation so it will bake my clay evenly and it won't burn the sides of them. But yeah, this is my studio. I think the amount of space it has is amazing. The only thing is that this is the only room in the apartment that doesn't get direct sunlight so it's always sort of dark and cold in here but I'm learning to live with that because at first I was like maybe this can be our bedroom and then the master bedroom could be my studio but I found it in myself to be like no I have to have boundaries like everything in my life can't be revolving around my work and I also wanted to be considerate of Mr. Uncomfy like this room is significantly smaller than the other room and like where would all of his stuff go you know so I think this is a perfectly fine space for an office. I just didn't realize how much I was using direct sunlight as a crutch for my workspace. Like at my old apartment, the direct sunlight just made everything so effortlessly beautiful. And then here, I'm really gonna have to find ways to bring warmth into this room without depending on direct sunlight. I think maybe after adding a rug, maybe some more artwork, maybe a sunset lamp or something, I think it'll be good. Alrighty guys, I think that is the end of this apartment tour. I feel like I have so much more left to say, so I'll just hand this off to future Tammy to finish off the video. Hi guys, this is Editing Tammy. I'm just about to upload this video, but I just wanted to say how grateful I am for this. I don't think it can be understated just how lucky I feel. The immense support from you guys is the only reason that I'm here. This is truly my dream apartment that I've been dreaming about since I was a little kid. I'm a first-generation American. You know, my 
my parents worked as hard as they could and sometimes they succeeded and sometimes they made mistakes. That made me have to grow up really quickly, unfortunately. And it's been really hard, but I wouldn't change a thing. I wouldn't change anything because the fact that I had to learn how to take care of myself, my parents with their mistakes gave me everything that I needed to start my own business, to have the dedication and discipline to be self-employed. So if you're watching this and you want to start your own business, if you want to start content creating, do it. Like, I can't tell you how many times I felt like I'm cringy or that it's embarrassing to be like, I'm a small business owner. Yeah, it's cringy and embarrassing sometimes, but the fact that I've told the whole world that I'm a business owner, so many opportunities came out of that. So many opportunities came from me being just a little bit cringy. So yeah, the next vlog is gonna be so exciting. I'm gonna be building out my dream studio with you guys. So stay tuned for that. And thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you very, very soon. Bye. I feel really fancy when I do this. And it closes by itself. It's crazy. Rusty red on her shoulder. I was cleaning her shoe. When it clicked on the trot over in the back. We brushed and we braided